In this video, I want to show you how to handle app images very easy. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Jean from Linux Art, and I'm using app images more frequently in the last month because I uploaded a video about Flatpak and why Flatpak couldn't be the best idea for all of us in the future. And I found app images very interesting. So just let's have a look at it, how we can install, manage and uninstall them properly. In the first part, I'm showing you my recommended way, which is very fast with almost every Linux distribution. In the second part of the video, I want to show you how you can do this in, for example, Linux Mint. So first of all, what are app images? App images are single files which are executable and contain a whole Linux program. It is completely irrelevant how complex this Linux program is. You only have an image of an app. And there are many developers of very popular Linux software which are recommending app images officially because they are very easy and you don't have to deal with any package managers anymore. This is for example kdenlive.org. If we had to download, we can either take the flat pack or take the app image. I'm definitely for the app image today. So I would say, let us try this out. I download this uh, file here. If you don't know what Cadian Life is, Cadian Life is a great video cutting software and you have literally everything you need to cut videos, not with crazy effects, but you can also do color grading and so on. Just a great free program. I'm also using this for cutting my videos. Let us open up our folder here of the downloaded file. Here we have it, an app image file. Linux Mint at the time doesn't support app images too well because if I double click this, we see nothing happens. So let us come to the first part of the video where we automate some things. But for automating this process, we need to install another app. And this app is, yeah, ironically, a flat pack. <laughs> in my opinion, this flat pack is really worth it. But yeah, it's up to you. In the second part of the video, I show you how you can do this manually quite fast, I would say. So let's search for gear lever. Here's the app. There we have it and just install it. Gear lever is nothing else than a app image manager which makes it really easy yeah, for managing those things. So after a couple of seconds, the only thing we have to do is just select and double click this file again. And then we see gear lever opens up. Then we check, could we trust this app image here? I select unlock and then I can click to move to app menu and then everything is installed fine. Now I can search for Kdin Live in my menu. Here we see the app. I can just open it up and we see it properly works out of the box. Perfect. And that on almost every Linux distribution, if you have Ubuntu, I put you a command into the video description. You need something like libfuse too. I put you the command into the video description because I don't know why Ubuntu isn't supporting app images by default. I guess they want to push snaps further on, which is kind of dumb in my opinion. But now we installed an app very easily. This is only a file, a portable exe file or a DMG file of Apple. You can kind of compare it with these formats. But yeah, on Linux, we have app images, which is also very handy. And uh, now it is installed. Cool. Then let us close everything and let us open gear lever. So in gear lever, if we open it up from the menu, we can now see our installed applications. We can check for updates here. This is a kind of new function in app images. Not too many app images supported at the moment of time, but I guess there will come a time that every app image does support updates and then yeah we could just yeah update it uh, manually here or we can also go to the burger menu here on the top right corner select preferences and here in the preferences we can check updates on system startup this is very recommended, just a ticket. Then you can also select some other cool options. Also the app images default location. This is by default in your home folder under the folder app images. This is okay for me, but if you want to put it some elsewhere, 
you could just define the path in the settings of this menu here. In the end, if we want to delete an app image file, you could just open up gear lever from your menu, select the application, and then you can hit remove, for example. I select remove, perfect. Then this app image isn't there anymore. We can't find anything like this. Only this uh, recent file entry. This isn't important at our point. And we don't see any Cadian Live file anymore. Then let us come to the manual method. If you don't want to use Gear Lever, I wish personally that Linux Mint will get an app image functionality like Gear Lever out of the box. Then we don't need to use another third party software to manage this properly but you can also do it manually. It isn't too hard. For that, I open up, for example, another app. I'm also a big fan of Rust Desk. Rust Desk is an alternative to TeamViewer, AnyDesk, and so on. I could just hit download. It's completely open source. And here we see many, many things. Also, of course, a flat pack, Ubuntu, but also an app image. And the app image isn't in the table right now. This is quite sad, but here we see, ah, more downloads, app image, perfect. I just click on it. Now what we can do, not to double click this at the current point, but to right click this uh, file if it was downloaded, select properties, select permissions, and then we select allow executing file as program. We tick this box here, select close, and then we can double click this file just right here. And then we see, okay, the app is starting, it's taking a moment, and here we have our Rust disk, for example. Perfect. If we want to create a menu entry for this, we can also do it. But for that purpose, I don't recommend to leave this file in your downloads folder. So I just create a new folder. My default folder for such things is called apps. Then I'm hitting F3 for the to list mode. You can also activate it here by clicking extra plane here in the view dropdown. Then I'm going to the downloads folder here on the left side and just drag and drop this file to the app folders here on the other view. And then we have it here in our apps folder. But now we don't find this one in our start menu. I can't see Rust disk. This is also only the recent file entry. This isn't working at our point and it will be deleted at some point. So we can't use this one. Just for this, Linux Mint has a very handy function. I right click the menu of my Cinnamon session here and select edit menu. Then in here I select, for example, uh, accessoires or internet. I'm going with accessoires, select new item, and then I can type in a name. How is our entry called? I type in Rust Desk in our case. I'm going with a command. I hit browse and then select our app image in our folder structure. Here we have it under apps and then I can select another icon for this. We are just search if we have something like Rust disk. Yeah, we don't have. You could also define a icon by yourself just by clicking on browse and you can select whatever image file you want to choose. But I'm selecting here, just look for remote. Ah yeah, remote desktop, this is okay. I'm selecting this icon and then I could hit OK and close everything else here. And now we can also find Rust disk in our menu and we did it manually. Perfect. So this is it for handling app images quite properly. Just a small warning, there is not any well implemented option to update app images at the current point of time. So if you want to update your programs which are installed as app image, just go to the website, download the latest app image file and uh, right click this edit menu, go to the entry and select the new path for the new file which you downloaded or put into the app folder. And this is also fine. Gear Lever has some uh, update functionality as we saw um, some minutes ago, but also at the current point of time, there aren't too many app images which are supporting this feature. There is now a functionality in it, 
And I would say if this video gets one or two years old, then there are many app images which are already supporting this update feature. And maybe they are also supporting this up update feature right out of the box. If you just um, start the app image or just by using gear lever, for example, or to do it manually by downloading it manually from the website. So this is it, how you could manage, install and use app images quite properly. So in the end, I'm interested which app format you are using the most. Is it the normal DAP files, which you can find everywhere on the internet? Are it the kind of new app image files? They are also around for about 10 years, I guess, but um, they are now coming really trendy, I would say. Or are you using um, Snap or Flatpak? Just let me know it. And what's your favorite app format in our Linux world? Write it into the comments. If it's, for example, also RPM. This was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because every week we are releasing new stuff about Linux and open source software. So just make sure to don't miss any future video. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one. Bye.